Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back to the vlog. Um, so it's been a while since I've been done another little couch vlog, but um I've been totally super busy. Hopefully you like my shooting video from Sunday. I'm gonna be doing more of those now that the weather's starting to change. I'm gonna be indoors probably doing a lot more shooting. Um, I got an AR 9mm build that I'm gonna be doing pretty soon. I wanna vlog about that. Um, I do tend to jump around on the vlog. I know they say stay consistent, but Drones, RC, guns, fishing. I didn't do any real fishing this year. Anyway, let's get back into what this vlog is about. So, um, I went on YouTube and I saw that everybody and their mama is vlogging about the new DJ I Go For um, update. Um, I didn't even notice that my phone updated to DJ I Go For, but apparently it may have or um, done it overnight. Um, but <clears throat> uh, while looking at the firmware update, I mean, at the, the DJ, while looking into the DJ I Go For update, I went and checked uh, to see if there were any firmware updates for the Mavic. Um, and I plugged it into DJ I Go Assist. And there is a firmware update dated today, and that is firmware version 0104000. Um, and I am currently updating. I don't know why, but I, I updated this on um, DJ I Go Assist. And then when I plug my phone in, it says I got to still do the update. I don't know if it's updating something in the phone. I don't know how that works. But anyway, I am very, 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 what was that, four bears? Very excited about the new firmware update. And that is because, if you've heard me say it in the past, I love the Spark for one reason. Not because it's small, not because it's cool, not because it's simple. I love it because it has quick shot modes. I could care less about the uh, gesture modes. I don't care to land it in my hand. I don't care to fly it around uh, Jedi style. I love quick shot modes because when I'm out trying to shoot stuff, um, just trying to control like an, uh, an orbit. I mean, you have orbit built in, right? But when trying to control an orbit, a fly smooth orbit, it can be kind of, you know, jittery. Like you, you'll lose control of that rudder and then you'll it'll flatten out a little bit. But with quick shot moves, you know, I can do an orbit by like active tracking on something and just having it fly around. I can do a rocket. All those transitions are very, very cool when you're trying to shoot cool transitions for other videos. Um, so, um, this firmware update adds added quick shot mode features. I can't wait to try this out. I can't wait to try this out. If this works, I truly have no reason to own a Spark and a Map. It's adding the uh, dynamic home point. A lot of people are questioning, I guess, in the vlog or on, on YouTube and uh, other vloggers are explaining what the uh, dynamic home point is. And the dynamic home point, you already kind of had a dynamic home point where when you go into your settings, you have home point is drone or you have home point is me. Home point is me is like dynamic. So if I'm moving around, the drone is going to automatically set my new location to the home point. So let's say I am on the back of a truck and I'm trying to get the drone to follow me. Somebody's texting me. Um, I don't want the home point to be where I took off from. I want it to be where the truck ends up at or else when I lose connection or whatever it goes into return to home, it's going to fly back a mile and a half to where it took off from. So I guess now, I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're just adding that to the Spark because I don't remember ever checking it for the Spark. But what it's meant to do is if you are in active track or you're in gesture mode and the thing's following you, you don't want the original home point to be your home point when something goes wrong. And with the Spark, if it loses a signal or that battery burns out on you, it's going to fly back home wherever that home point was. So that's what that's for. Don't panic about it. Dynamic home point isn't um, necessarily a bad thing. It's actually going to help you, um, like I said, move around and not have to worry about your original home point or set the new home point manually. Um, what else does it do? Um, it says... Uh, added support for Mavic Pro Platinum firmware and uh, 8331 low noise propellers, which I have on order, by the way. Hopefully when they come in, we can do some real sound tests to see if they're low noise. I don't really care about the noise. It's usually too far away for me to even hear that. You didn't hear me say that. But um, it does add three more minutes to your flight time. So hopefully um, those are an added bonus because I paid like 20 bucks for like four freaking propellers. And I still got, you know, I got propellers that I've never busted up. So hopefully the, this investment is a good investment. Stay tuned for that vlog when it comes in. Um, oh, and another one, another one that I'm very, very happy about. I love Vivid when I shoot. This camera is on Vivid. So this little red, little light here is probably like bright cherry red. That's because this camera's shooting in Vivid right now. I love colors that pop. Um, the Mavic Pro didn't have Vivid mode. My previous drones have Vivid mode, but the Mavic Pro has 
some log where it kind of like makes it flat for you to do color profiling. Then it had true color, which is almost like log. It almost makes it a little bit flatter. But it's sort of like when it dulls down the color a little bit because when I turn it off, it looks better to me, more vivid to me than when I turn it on. But now it has vivid. So I want to try that. Like the colors are changing in the trees. You're going to have some very beautiful trees and very a lot of color out there now. And I want to catch that with this drone by putting it in vivid. Um, so happy about these two firmware updates. Hopefully they work because as we know, DJI doesn't always get it right the first time. How many times did it take for them to uh, fix the spark and get that drone to work the way it's supposed to work? Um, three, I think it was. <clears throat> and hopefully this firmware update doesn't mess anything up about my baby. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up about it and it flies the way it flew before I did this firmware update. Right, so what else I got? It has an update for the goggles. It seems to be more about the volume. And that is it. I got to get the goggles out and update those. I'm um, still on the fence about the goggles. I uh, don't use them, and that's 450 bucks that could be put to better use if, you know, buy another drone or something. But anyway, here's something I'm always talking about. I don't know if I've ever said it on the blog. I've always said it to friends when they go out and they buy a DJI drone and they get firmware updates. It even says it. Never scroll down that far. It's amazing what you find if you scroll all the way back down to the bottom or read the instructions. So apparently... It, like I've been telling people, if you do a firmware update, let me get that down because it's messing with my uh, camera here. If you do a firmware update, it will reset your return to home, altitude, your return to home distance, and a couple of other settings like your obstacle avoidance back to factory default. So if you go out and do this firmware update and you go out and you fly behind a tree and you lose signal or you're flying toward that tree thinking that the obstacle avoidance is going to help you, it's not because it's probably turned off if you didn't turn it back on. I wonder how many crashes have been caused because of that. Luckily, I haven't had one. I don't have any wood. I'm mean, not going wood on there. Um, but, yeah, check that out after this firmware update. Go back in and check all your settings. Go from top to bottom and make sure everything that you had it set to is set back to its your preferred settings. So, I'm 52% in on this freaking progress, even after I've already updated this thing through Assist. It's still plugged in to the freaking computer. Assist said it was done. Um, I'm going to get this done, and I can't wait to see if these actually, I'm, I'm, it's, it's dark, it's dark now, but I can't wait to see if the quick shots actually work. I just want to see if I can light it up and see which ones are there, and hopefully vlog to you about the new quick shot modes. I'm into eight minutes right now, I've been babbling for eight minutes, so I'm going to pause it right now just so I don't go too crazy long, and then I'll get back to you after this update is done to see if we have those quick shot modes. So give me a second, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so, uh... I don't think the Android app has updated to QuickShot. Went through, went through all the settings, or all the flight modes, and there is no QuickShot there. So I'm gonna try my iPhone and see if that gives me QuickShot mode. So let me pop this out real quick. Just unplug that. I know I saw the iPhone update. I hit the button for it to do the update, so I need QuickShot. <sighs> Come on, iPhone, work for me. Okay, we start flying, open it up, let's go into this, there you go baby, quick shot mode, I guess I gotta start flying on my iPhone for a while, let's see what we got when we go to quick shot modes, ah, I gotta take off, I gotta take off, I gotta take off, how can we do this, hmm, so, I took the Mavic outside, and it's too dark to try Quick Shot. So, stay tuned for the next video. Well, I'll definitely get out and try that out. Um, again, thank you, DJI, for hearing my um, wishes and making them come true by giving me Quick Shot on the Mavic. Hey, guys, I'm going to end this now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the vlog. I'll get back to you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.